we are one, one heart, one energy that has multiplied and so much has been conceived. Allow your conceptions to be the conceptions of the very best. I speak to those who are infertile. I speak to those beautiful souls who long to bear a child of their own. Perhaps you have tried many times and the pregnancy has not succeeded. This is not failure because truly the heart, heart tells you you know what you desire. I loved carrying you. I enjoyed your creation. For those of you who are experiencing infertility, the fault is not yours. The fault is no one's. You live in environments, you have genetics, that for whatever reason, because of our conversations before you were born, to meet and accept these challenges, but you can love and you can nurture. And some of you are capable of adopting those who truly would benefit and become their very best because you paid attention to them. There is so much life on this planet my heart weeps when I see the innocent abandoned. You must always allow the innocents their independence because that is how they gain wisdom. The innocent must be protected. How can you protect the innocent? How can you protect what may not be able to protect itself from things you can? Who are you protecting? Are you protecting yourselves? Your minds are greater than all the computers, libraries, and minds on this planet. Your minds are greater than you possibly imagine. You know, your scientists have witnessed through very primitive technology the portions of your brain that is activated with certain activities mm. and how the brain has so many different functions yet there are portions of the brain that seem to either be dormant or hidden but they're not those parts of your brain are able to dream and to go beyond this dimension so that activity may not be witnessed on this physical realm yet. You're getting better. You're getting closer. The closer you get, just remember, I've been creating for... <laughs> oh, I don't even have a word for it. So you always have something to look forward to. When you're down and troubled And you need a helping hand And nothing 
Oh, nothing is going right. Close your eyes and think of me. And soon I will be there to brighten up even your darkest night. You just call out my name and you know wherever I am I'll come running just to see you again winter, spring, summer or fall all you've got to do is call and I'll be You've always had a goddess. You've always had a divine mother. You've always had a, a divine father. You've always had a divine family. You know who your tribe is. Gather with them often. Get physical with them. Don't punch them out. Touch them, love them, experience them. If something is going to kill you, you'll know. But you are made of flesh. You are made of my heart, my spirit, my passion. You are everything. Those who have killed, maimed, destroyed, discarded, rejected, hurt, innocent. You are held accountable. The law is do unto others as you would do unto yourself. Are you mean to yourself? Do you tell yourself to go home? You don't belong here? Every single being on this planet, every single being, every leaf, every particle of dust, everything, on this planet is home. So when you say, go home to where you came from, my arms are open. I am pleased to have you return to me. But this planet, this dimension, this time, is for my tribe, my creations, in all their many colors and shapes and sizes. So many of you think about discrimination, how you've been discriminated up against, or this person's discriminating. You have to be able to discriminate for yourself, but discrimination in the form of destroying and demeaning is not what this world was created for. Why do you feel justified in doing that? Were you hurt? Did someone hurt you? Are you afraid? Would you look at your own fears? What are you afraid of? Some of you will get angry and say, because look what they've done. They've destroyed this, 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 this. You don't think you're doing the same thing? You don't think you're doing the same thing? By demeaning someone? 
by needlessly being violent. You don't think you're doing the same thing. This is our physical tabernacle, our home. If whether you live on a mountain or you live on the beach, we are all here for a reason. When you say go home, if those who receive that message from someone who says that you don't belong here, that you need to go home, baby, you go home to your culture. You go home to your truth. You go home to your heart. You go home to me. Come home and stand up tall. You have every right to be here in less than a whisper. Quicker than I can snap my fingers. I can send you home. Because you gave me permission when you were born. We talked about this. Remember? Those of you who listen to this broadcast will remember. You will have dreams, if you so choose, where we will revisit one another again. I cannot judge you. I don't want to judge you. Some will feel what I have said is a judgment, but I'm very clear with my boundaries. And my boundaries are thus and so. This creation is for you to explore, to better yourself, to be the very best. But there are some things places and spaces you need to leave it alone leave it as it is in its perfection take some time to walk in the forest to explore where nature has been untouched take time to really truly hold on to each other of course, passions will arise when you're holding someone you are attracted to. But that is not the point. The point is flesh upon flesh. Build your immunity, strengthens your aura. Strengthens your heart. Fuels you and fills you what's necessary to continue to do your very best. There's no need to rush through life. Even if you were told you only have days or seconds to live, you can extend your time. We agreed on this. That is why the prayers of your loved ones and those who care for you Help your body, your physical body, remember your agreements with yourself and with others. And there will be times when the prayers of your loved ones, as sincere and beautiful as they are, will not stop your transition or your death because you have an agreement. Your soul has a plan and it doesn't end here. You don't end here. If a thousand years should pass, and a messenger comes forth to hear my voice and speak my words and my thoughts, the first words out of my mouth would be, I love you. I love you enough to guide you every day. 
I love you enough to help you see what your best choices are. And sometimes you'll make your best choice and you'll think it's the most foolish choice in retrospect. But don't beat yourself up for that. You do the best you can at that time. And for those of you who are weary, that feel that there is no choice for you, that it has been a never-ending assault of challenge to the point where you feel like you can't go on, then I take you into my arms and I hold you and I comfort you. We will always have our one-on-ones. I will always send messengers. The messengers are not what you expect them to be. They just are who they are. And I love them for their uniqueness. I love when you share messages with others. You are inspired also. Say one kind word, one kind word truly from your heart to someone you love, a stranger. Put it somewhere, make a sign, something that is of benefit. Do one, one every day. And then when you return, we will have much to talk about because one moment of kindness can change generations upon generations. And you have the courage to stand up and protect. You have the courage to walk away when necessary. You do not have to engage in the script of chaos or destruction. You changed the scripts, and even though you and I have had so many conversations, continue to have many conversations, you still are growing and changing. Isn't that marvelous? That is your godliness. Stand in your godliness. Stand in your uniqueness. Express yourself in your attire. Express yourself as you are for who you truly are. Don't allow anyone to cast shadows on your fabulosity, on your goddess, on your God self. Do you have powers? Can you elevate a mountain? Yes. Those parts of your brain that seem to be dormant, you might not have an understanding of what those are for. That's your godliness. What is your power? This goddess has the power of changing the emotions of entire buildings. She has learned at a very young age, if she is sad, it affects everyone around her. If she is happy, it affects everyone around her because the energy. So we do our best. We do our best to keep her comfortable. No one, no one truly would appreciate the anger of godliness, yet it is valuable and important. And there have been times in your history where a messenger has come forth to chastise you as this messenger has today. Don't allow yourself to be manipulated. Recognize when you have been, especially 
externally. There are great strides that are coming. Great awareness and breakthrough because of this period in your human history. Some of the greatest minds are now in grade school and they have experienced this period of pandemic. They will create cures. They will make changes. They will do what perhaps other generations were not equipped to do because they had other foundations to lay Allow today to be a day to create a new foundation in your life. A foundation where you can see all the homes and places you have examined and experienced in this lifetime like shells upon the beach. Choose the one that you're most drawn to, a souvenir perhaps. Keep it where you can to remind you of why you chose it. Why did you choose to be here right now at this moment with me? Why did you choose to listen? Why did you choose to create this in your story? Do magical beings exist? Absolutely. Some are disguised some may be sitting right next to you and some may be right in front of you. And how can you judge? How can you judge someone? You do it through your energy, through your heart. And if your heart holds malice for your fellow man, you can do better. Does it mean you have to associate with whoever you have malice with? It just means that you need to associate with yourself for a clear understanding of why you would choose that. What, what do you think will be better because of your malice? Regardless of what you choose, I will always take a sad song and make it better. Make it better. Do better. Examine your anger and your prejudice. Why is it there? How did that seed grow? How can you make it better? Don't take innocent lives. Don't hurt the innocent. And even those who are knowledgeable, don't hurt them. Don't hurt each other. Because as you hurt others, you will be hurt. I don't have to do anything. You will do it to yourself. You already are. And upon your death, if you did not remember, you will. Upon your death, you will remember it all. And we will celebrate the better and the best. And then I have much to show you about how your story changed the history of the universe for the better. After you have watched this video, I want you to open your door. I want you to step outside. Raise your arms to all that is and invite the best energy into your life. Allow yourself to be infused by the light of the sun, the light of the moon, 
the touch of the wind, the fragrance of the earth, draw it to you. Claim your godliness. We have much to discuss. This is all for now. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. I will stand here for a minute and send the healing out. Just in case some of you are unable to walk outside your door, I will bring the godliness to you. Those of you who are ready will receive it. And by the way, because so much of technology had to shut down and the earth was allowed to be as it is, you recognize how wonderful life just blossomed around you. Fishes appeared where they hadn't appeared for centuries. Turtles in mass amounts swam to the shore to give birth to more turtles. The earth became fertile and was reclaiming paradise. This is why this time was important. Reclaim paradise. Some of you feel reclaiming paradise is going shopping. That's okay. That's what you do. But you have the opportunity to spend quality time with one another. The time that you have asked for upon the death of your loved ones. Just one more minute, one more second, one more moment to love them. You have that now. You have it now. Claim it. It's part of your godliness. It's the gift. It is the gift, but the earth is renewing itself and will renew itself. But that change had to happen the way it is now. Some things need to be shut down, done, finished, no more. Your lawns, which are perfectly manicured, can remain perfectly manicured. However, I do appreciate that you are allowing there to be food and sustenance for creatures you may not even be aware of. So you see that dandelion out there? Let it be. Let it be. I love you. To be continued. Hmm. There will be miraculous healings from this channeling. Some may never know, but you will. <laughs>